Well, a decision could come today in the civil trial against a Kansas City police officer accused of using excessive force. Officer Robert Vivano shot and killed Terry Davis five years ago. The family claims the officer should not have used deadly force. Sarah Hollenbeck was in the courtroom this morning for closing arguments. Sarah. Cynthia, we heard those closing arguments from both sides over the last two hours, and I can tell you they were both very compelling. The jury really does have a tough decision to make today. Now, this is all in regards to something that happened quite a few years ago. Angela Davis's attorney now hopes that the jury will believe that Terry Davis was on his knees surrendering when KCPD officer Robert Vivona shot him. Now, court documents show that Davis jumped out of a stolen car and ran from officers while holding a loaded gun, but that did not give officers the right to shoot him, according to Davis's attorney. Yet on the flip side, Vivona's attorney says the officer acted in self-defense. She argued that Davis wouldn't have grabbed a loaded gun before jumping out of a car unless he intended to use it. Now, the other very interesting part about this case is that if these jurors do decide to side with Angela Davis and say that her son was shot unfairly, they also have the ability to write down two different amounts, one amount being the amount they believe she's owed for compensation because of the loss of her son and a second amount that they hope that the police department has to pay as a punishment should be very interesting playing out in court today. We are live in downtown Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.